Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode into the Rise and Fall series. I want to start off by thanking all of you for leaving your comments and really showering the series with support. I truly appreciate it, so thank you so much for that. Also a special thank you for the Tom Berry Troop for their infographics, Soul, and Rem's Decidia database who helped provide a large portion of today's information. Now with regards to the winner, it was a tough choice. I had a lot of recommendations on who to do next, and it was hard for me to just pick one, honestly. But with all that being said, let's all congratulate Unlucky on winning the $50 gift card and for recommending this character who is fast on his feet, loves to play water sports, and has a laugh that can be heard throughout the galaxy. <laughs> let's go ahead and talk about the rise and fall of Final Fantasy X's main protagonist, Titus. Alright, so I don't know about you guys, but when I first started playing this game, there was about eh, 11 or 12 Lost Chapters already released, and one of them was the Lost Chapter from Xenarchin, to unlock Titus. I was still very new with the game, and the team comps that I were creating, I had the mentality of main protagonists were always good, since they'd get the most improvements as the game progresses, and we'll talk about how <laughs> wrong that is later, of course. But during this time, I played the Lost Chapter to unlock Titus, and I enjoyed his kit. Quick Hit was a good way to fill up your brave, and since Titus was fast, he'd normally have another turn coming up, so you can just HP attack and kill stuff. Sadly, this was the only way to really get through trash mobs, as you want to save his S2 ability mostly for the boss waves. Speaking of his S2 ability, let's go ahead and talk about his slash attack. Which granted if you were able to get his 35 CP weapon Brotherhood, which I'll also add that we had no pity system or a weapon token shop at this time, so people were literally throwing out their entire account of resources, I mean literally 100k plus gems just to chase this weapon. Actual insanity when you think about it. That a character like this was such in high demand during this time. I mean everyone was recommending him. Casual players, content creators, your mom, brother, sister, uncle, cousin, anyone who was playing this game, they knew about Titus. We were all praising the power that Titus would bring to your team comps. Even seeing Titus in co-op with his 35 CP weapon, players were ecstatic because they knew that they were going to clear the co-op with ease. I, of course, though, can't talk about Titus without bringing up the famous team comp, Litgo. Or however you may pronounce it, I do apologize. Titus' role here though was to debuff the target with his S2 to apply his, at the time, potent debuffs that decrease attack, defense, and speed, three of the best stats to have debuffed during this time. Then with Aiko's speed buff along with how fast lightning already was, this team comp dominated the meta to the point where the game was just complete fodder for them. Though of course in global this was broken apart just a little bit due to my main man Saz getting his famous 35 CP weapon early, Though no one can deny that Titus was an absolute amazing DPS and debuffer to have on your roster during this time in the game. Let's go ahead and fast forward just a little bit now and we reach the EX era where the debut of Titus' EX weapon, the Force Saber. Other than it being 100% AoE, which was very nice for a character like Titus, also granted him attack and speed up. Though in my opinion, the real prize was the max limit break of this weapon. When doing so, you unlocked his HP+, plus, which was a 2-hit brave into an HP attack that had a high turn rate. This was really nice for Titus, as his quick hit also had high turn rate, you could quick hit into his HP+, plus for a really strong single target HP dump. Though there's not much to say about Titus here though, as he didn't really stand out, but he wasn't casted aside either. He was still a good DPS unit to have, especially with his EX ability being 100% AoE, he could easily deal massive damage to a multiple boss wave. Pairing him up though with a good battery like Sarah or even Saz, he could really pump out the true power of this character. I'll go ahead and mention now he did get a rework at this time during Arc 2 Chapter 4, which featured Pain. He was given a new 3 turn buff called Winning Spirit. This new buff gave Titus increased max brave by a whopping 80%, and increased his brave damage by 10 or 60% per debuff on the target. This was granted when using his quick hit attack on its base form, which afterwards quick hit was upgraded into its plus variant, which when used while under the buff winning spirit gave Titus instant turn rate and this instant turn rate did not add to the turn count. There was just however one thing that will completely stop this high tier unit dead in his tracks. Moving ahead, and we are now at the EX Plus era, in the beginning stages of the EX Plus era, I might add, 
and we arrived at Fang's Lost Chapter, where if you were playing in JP featured Titus' EX+. And at this time in the game, he was... okay. He did have a cute little combo at the time, if you want to call it that, which was basically having a minimum 2 out of 3, using his Quick Hit Plus for the instant turn rate, then use his C65 to replenish the winning spirit buff, and repeat this until a C65 was drained. One bad thing though about this new Titus was that the winning spirit buff only lasted 3 turns, and the only way to replenish it was either using a regular form of Quick Hit or using his EX ability which is recommended at least at 2 out of 3, so that way you have access to this buff at the start of the fight. He also didn't get any free skill usage, which was very hurtful to his longevity, not to mention that his quick hit S1 ability was never changed from a brave attack. Yeah guys, this by the way is still a brave attack to this day, meaning Titus only has 4 HP dumps, when other DPS units were dumping HP attacks like nobody's business. Plagued by the early EX Plus era and not having any decent longevity, Titus fell to the bottom of everyone's roster, and this is sadly where it ends for our Blitzballer. To this day, at least in JP, at the recording of this video, Titus has not received his Burst or LD weapon, and he falls flat compared to any DPS currently out in the game right now. I will say this though, that having a 100% Splash EX ability is really nice. But the fact that his debuffs, which are now, at this time, <laughs> laughable potencies, quick hit not being an HP attack, low longevity, and very low buff count, he just can't keep up with everything out today. Titus was made to burst something down, hence why his buffs have a low turn count, since by the time he's exhausted, the boss was either dead or dying. This just isn't the case in today's meta, where defensive buffs for bosses literally blow up out of this world, and with the new difficulty Lufinia, Getting Brave Gang reductions, debuff immunities, red auras, Titus sadly sinks into the abyss. Now I'm sure one day our game will highlight this character again, bringing him out of the dark depths and showing us the true power of this character, who not only brought down Sin, but dodged 200 lightning bolts. I actually want to ask you all a question on how we can help Titus in the future. When his BT and LD arrives, I really hope they give him an identity, because he's either going to be a debuffer or he's going to be a pure DPS. Right now, he's just kind of a wishy-washy of both and it's not really working for him, so honestly the best thing that he needs, in my opinion, is an identity. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Surprised to see a new ending? Honestly, it's just for this video, because I wanted to keep it Final Fantasy X-esque, you know? And Final Fantasy X-2 is honestly my second all-time favorite Final Fantasy game. I don't know what it is about X, I just, I don't know, it's just not my go-to Final Fantasy game, I guess. I know I'm gonna get a lot of backlash saying this, but, uh, you know, that's okay. <laughs> I wanted to go ahead and congratulate Unlucky one more time. Thank you so much for participating. I really do appreciate it, man. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time.